Hello and welcome to Proteus Cricket where we help cricketers like yourself get stronger and fitter and today we are going to be looking at our power sessions as I stated before and what I'll always go by that we go through that strength work first because um, that is then the base of our power and we are going to be keeping a bit of a strength um, progressions in our power week our compound lifts are going to stay the same um, they are going to go through like the progressions of the five 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 fours so that all stays the same but then the work after it then will change up in this power week so in our strength week there were all the accessories aiding in our strength development and now it's going to change up a little bit so we'll do our compound lift which is our strength work um, that's going to be like a bench a deadlift squat stuff like that and then we're going to move on to a strength speed exercise so the resistance comes down slightly still quite heavy but our speed moves up so we're going to be moving slightly quicker and then the resistance comes down again so we're going to be doing speed strength work after that which will then be stuff like you made both rows and stuff like that and sorry this your strength speed stuff would be like power cleans jump squats um stuff with that heavier weights and then coming down to then really low resistance any speed strength work and then we go into our speed work then finally which will then be body weight extra exercises like so resistance is very low and we're going to move, move in as quickly as we can so you know your box jumps plyo push-up uh, depth jumps stuff like that so today um, we're going to do the first session of the week then we're going to do the compound lift which is going to be our deadlift we're going to do five sets of four reps we are then going to be doing a power clean uh, for our strength speed work for our speed strength work then we're going to do a granny toss um, and if you don't know what that is i'll show you it in the gym and then for our speed work uh we're going to do a depth jump um but yeah i'll go over everything now when i go in the gym if you saw the strength series i did that all in my garage because i could unfortunately i can't really power clean in my garage or jump because my garage is like six foot three and i'm like six foot so i've got like only a couple of inches so i can't really jump or go onto my tools for that matter um so i've come down to the gym it's pretty got the crossfit gym so plenty of room plenty of room for stuff to do all this work um but yeah i'll go in now and i'll start talking you through it as i do the session um as ever if anyone's got any questions about what we are doing just stick it in the comments and i will get back to them all as soon as i can i'll see you in a bit right so as i said we are going to deadlift to start off so we've got five sets of three reps. If you can hear them seagulls banging on the roof, bear with me. Hopefully you can hear me better than you can hear the seagulls. Um, but yeah, so I've warmed up now. Just when you're warming up, you know, um, anything that's tight to run through that, maybe some hamstring um, sort of looseners, and then just build up in weight and that should be the main part of your deadlift. So a few reps with the empty bar. And I tend to go up and then sort of 20 kilo jumps until I get to where I think I'm going to be around. Um, as with all our other work, you're going to work towards like two reps in reserve. So if you like, if you, you can do two more reps by the end of the set, but that's going to be like two failure. Um, so we're going to keep a few reps in the tank. So one tip I would give you when you are deadlifting, I'm not sure if I mentioned this last week in the strength series, um, but try to get as tight as you can off the floor before you lift. You don't want sort of any slack. So then that first movement is just you sort of moving your body and then you sort of take the weight. You want to be so tight that you're nearly sort of taking all the weight already. Um, so then when you start, start the lift, all the forces go in against the bar um, and you're not wasting sort of any energy um, as part of your deadlift. Um, so I'll go over a set now. So I'll show you what I mean, and then I'll give you another angle then after that. So let's get to it. Oh. So yeah, that was decent. I think I could go up in weight a touch. But not too much, you know, I'm there, thereabouts and that. Um, as you probably could tell, I get a reset after every set. That's just so I can get nice and tight and in the right position before I start going. It's gonna help us just, so you're not gonna get injured or anything like that. And it does help you probably lift a bit better technically. So it's what we always go for. So we've got five sets of this, like three to four minutes rest now. And then I'll show you the next set. Right, so deadlifts are done. 
Now we're going to move on to what we call the strength speed aspect of our power training. So the weight is the resistance is going to come down, but we're going to move a bit quicker than we were on the deadlifts. And we're going to do this through power cleans. Now this is probably the most like technical thing. Everything obviously has a technical side to it, but power cleans are very technical um, when it comes to our programming. Um, I could, if you want me to, put it down in the comments or something, I could do a longer video where I will break down the clean. Um, we could do one on the snatch as well. We don't do the snatch so much because that's probably more technical again. Um, but like, if you don't want to do something like this, like a power clean, you can do a clean pull. Um, you find those videos online about that and what that is. It's a bit of a variation to a deadlift with a bit of a pop at the top, a bit more of a dynamic movement than a deadlift. Or you can do something like a jump squat, a barbell jump squat. Still going to have that resistance quite high. Um, people can get a bit nervy with that amount of weight and jump squat in it, but it should be fine. Like as an idea, I probably I do it with like 100k um, for like three to five reps. Just make sure everything's explosive, moving as fast as you can, um, just getting slightly off the floor, um, and just being really solid. Like when you're catching the bar, and don't make like stupid jumps. Don't go like ridiculous don't go like 60 to 100 take your time with it um, just so you get used to receiving that bar if you've never done it before but anyway i'm going to go over a power clean now we're going to do three sets of three with this again reps are low reps are much lower this week than um, what our strength series is because we're going to want to keep moving with our maximum intent probably when i get to three maybe like four reps with this my velocity is going to be dropping off and my speed is going to be dropping off sort of losing the intention behind it then. Um, so three, you know, you can work, you can even do like singles, twos, just working really dynamically, full effort. It seems low, you're probably going to like feel like you're going to do it and you'll be like, oh, okay, I'm fine. Um, but make sure you get that three minutes rest then and you move in with the right speeds because it's all about intent, all about moving at the right speed. So I'm going to start now. I've warmed up again, build up in the weights gradually. Um, and then find a weight you're happy with that you're going to get the three reps. Uh, so I'll make a start now. I'll show you the first set and then we'll make over something which I remembered to talk about. Oh, the magnet stuck to the bar on the way up. I took my mic with it. Oh. Hopefully I didn't break, break my mic. No, nope. looks like it's working. So one thing, just a tip with the technique of it. Um, what I was doing then at the start of every rep, maybe see me like looking forward. So the idea is if you look forward, you sort of keep up, keep, keep your chest up nice and high so you never like drop in. See how some people miss like power cleans when they're sort of hunched over. You want to keep a strong chest, keep your chest up. Good way to do this is to pick a point. So when you're starting, when you're ready, when you're set up, pick a point on the wall, like dead in front of you, or whatever's in front of you, just pick it and look at that through the entire lift. So just make sure your head doesn't drop. It's just one thing that really helped me when I started weightlifting and doing this sort of thing. I always used to like, I'd wander, I'd look at the floor when I was thinking about other things, but this is a great basic to always go back to and really helps with your lifts. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna do another set now. I'll show you that from another angle, probably the side angle, so you can see what that looks like. And you can probably relate it then to your own videos when you do it yourself. Uh, same weight, and I'll get on with that now.
So I'm going to put, oh, well, as you would have seen, I put all three sets of the cleans in there just to show you that you can change weight. Like when I moved 80, felt too light, went to 90, felt all right, felt good. And I was like, oh, I'll push it, I'll go to 100. And I hit all my reps, um, which is fine. You can do that. You don't have to do every set of the same. And then next time I might start at 90, see how that feels on the day, and then judge it on that. Um, that could be part of my warm up, whatever. Um, I don't think I could have done three sets at 100, three sets of three. But that's fine. It was there, thereabouts. Um, so yeah, maybe three sets of 90, or two sets of 90 and 100, maybe more. I like the progression for next week. Um, but now we're going to go down the next stage of the power work. So we're going to do speed, strength. So now resistance is coming down again. We're going to be using a nine kilo, can we see it? A nine kilo med ball. We're going to do a granny toss. So what that is, is pretty similar movement to the clean really, me mechanically. So it's like a hand clean position to start with, holding the med ball with two hands, go into like that hand clean position. Extend centripetal extension through your hips, knees, and ankles, and then you're just throwing it overhead as far as high as you can. That's what it is. So we're gonna do again, well, not again, we're gonna do three sets of five reps for this. With the speed strength work, you're more likely to be able to do more reps at the same velocity, because you're not gonna get as fatigued doing this, because um, you haven't got as much resistance. So we can look to do more to like the five probably not 10 rep range, but probably five reps with this. You can do it with less, um, but we're gonna go with five. So I'm gonna show you now. I don't know what this is gonna look like in terms of how much you're gonna be able to see or whether I stand really far back, um, but bear with me on this. Uh, and basically when you throw it, just make sure you watch where the ball goes so it doesn't hit you on the head. Hopefully, so sort of saw uh, what everything was happening there. I don't know if it's too far away. I need to zoom in to make sure you can see everything. But general idea, fill the ball as high as you can. Just move in. Like, thing with these is all about intention. Like, one person's five reps is going to look completely different to another person's five reps. But just try and move as quickly as you can. That's the whole idea of it. We're developing our speed here, getting into our speed work. So we're trying to move as quickly as you can so we can develop that speed, which will then transfer to our power and to our cricket. But yeah, I'll do another set now, show you that from maybe a different angle, maybe a bit closer, so you can just see what I'm doing mechanically with my body and not too worried about where the ball's going. And then we'll move on to our final exercise, which is gonna be our complete speed work. Um, we're gonna do a depth jump. So see you there. So that is that. Done. Whoa, well, now we're gonna go on to our speed work. So last exercise of the day, I'd say it's quite low volume, but it is quite fatiguing because you're working at such, such high like intentions all the time, like mentally and physically, it's quite fatiguing. So finally, we're gonna do a depth jump. I don't know if it's in short, can't really see it, but I got a little box, you'll be able to see it now. Um, does, probably like four or five inches off the floor this is. So it's literally a step. And that is all you need for it. So you're gonna stand on the box of the step, take a step off. You're gonna take, land on the floor then, off the box, land on the floor. And then as soon as you uh, land, you're gonna try and jump as high as you can. 
So again, the intention is just jump in as high as you possibly can. I'm going to put my hands on my hips, if you'll see it now, just so I just don't use my arms to help me jump. It's all about our lower body development in terms of our speed work. So I'll show you it now. It'll probably make a bit more sense when you see me do it. But as I said, this doesn't need to be, because you see people doing these stuff, this stuff off like really high boxes. It doesn't need to be, really. Um, you could probably build to that if you wanted to. Um, but we're just going to do it off a little step here today. And again, three sets of five with this. And I'll say it again, all about intention. Jump in as high as we possibly can. So let's get it. Last one's the best one. <laughs> so that is that. I'm gonna finish off now, do my three more sets. And that is day one of our power series. And I'm gonna go through and show you the whole week um, for what this training's gonna look like. It's a bit of a sample week for what we do in our programs. If you wanna check them out, I'll put a link down below if you wanna go and see them where we do stuff like this and stuff from our strength stuff all based around your cricket season. So yeah, go check them out. We also have a free ebook. Um, I'll put the link to it too. And that is just my top 10 tips then in terms of getting started if you want to do it with your training. So that's completely free. I'll put the link for that in the description below as well. And I'll email you the free ebook. But yeah, if you want to see the rest of the Power Series, subscribe and everything. And we're going to do one day a week. So you'll end up with a full weeks of training, which you can then use to progress each week um, I'll go through it at the end, how to progress this training. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll see you for day 